We're going to talk about large-scale dynamic simulation with Python. Sometimes you have differential equations in your model that might be uh, something like five differential equations, 500 dis differential equations, or something like 2,000 differential equations. It kind of depends on the problem that you're trying to solve. We're going to sh uh, just show an example today of how to set up uh, dynamic simulation with Python using the SciPy ODE int solver. This is a numerical integrator that you can get from the uh, SciPy package. Uh, we're going to start with this example where we have, um, we're trying to approximate a dead time. We're trying to approximate this function right here. And one way to do that is to approximate it with a series of lag equations. So I have a time constant tau uh, dy dt equals negative y. Um, plus 1, and that's going to look something like this. Okay, and that's not a very good approximation, so what we'll do is we'll put this together with some other uh, differential equations as well. And I'll put that as y1, and then I'll have another tau value, dy2, dt equals negative y2 plus y1, and then keep going down. So what I'm going to do is dy i dt equals negative y i uh, plus y i minus 1. And we can go, um, you know, i can go all the way up to n. And then we're going to get a better approximation. We'll see it do something like that and then get closer as we use more and more differential equations here. So we're going to implement this in Python and then just scale up n. It'll be a fairly easy thing to do. Uh, just with a single line of code to change the number of values n that we'll use to scale this up. So let's go ahead and just start with um, okay, just a blank folder. I like to start from kind of nothing. Uh, so um, let's see. Else. I'll do this uh, lag approximation. Just create a new folder. And in that folder, I'm going to create a new Python file. Now you could do this in... Uh, like a Python notebook if you want, or Spider, or PyCharm, or anything like that. I'm going to just use IDLE for this, but the main thing is just type this uh, Python code with me. Okay, so I'm going to call this lag.py. You can call it whatever you'd like. And uh, then just go ahead and edit it. Okay, so here I have my editor. And let me bring up my equation again. Okay, so I'm going to bring this up, put it over here, just so I can see it. Okay, so these are the set of equations I want to try to simulate. And so the first thing that I want to do, um, import numpy as mp. I'll do from scipy.integrate um, import ode int. Okay, so this is my ode integrator right here. And then NumPy I'll use that as well. Now um, I'll also uh, import matplotlib.pyplot um, as PLT. I'll go ahead and plot the results as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and first of all just define our model. Um, let's just start with uh, this first equation right here. We're just going to do that one, just a single differential equation. Um, and I'll just call this uh, model. And I'll do y comma t, and uh, then dy dt equals, and then that's going to be negative. Let's see, I also need my tau value in here. Okay, tau equals. Let's say that's uh, ten, and then I'm going to have um, negative one divided by tau uh, times, and then this is going to be. Okay, let me do this. It's just a little bit easier to see. Negative y plus 1. And then I'll return uh, dy dt. So I need to return uh, the derivative value. And then my ODE integrator is going to accept a couple different input arguments. The first one is just going to be a time. Um, and I need to tell it the times at which I want to integrate the solution. And I'll go from 0 to 20 with 100 time points. Okay, now I need to also um, compute my solution. Okay, so y of t is going to be my ODE integrator. 
and I'm going to have my model name. Um, okay, and then I have an initial condition, why not, or y0, and I'll just say that's equal to 0. Okay, and then uh, put in my time values, and that's it. That's what I need to do to integrate this. And then uh, let's go ahead and just plot the results just to be able to look at it. Okay, so um, we'll plot uh, the uh, t versus y. Okay, and then we'll show it. Okay, so this is the thing that we need to do to calculate, uh, to solve our differential equation. We're using this ODE integrator, and it has three inputs to it. One is a model definition that will give us the derivatives. And so I've rearranged this into a form where um, we can get the derivatives. And, and uh, okay, and if you'd like to put you know, 1.0 there, um, you know, instead of integers, uh, make those uh, floating points that that can be better, uh, especially if you have a Python version that uh, divides by integer values. Okay, so I'm going to run this and just see if we get an answer. Okay, and when it runs, then you'll see the uh, solution here. And then let's plot the thing that we're trying to approximate as well. Um, we're going to plot a zero comma 10 comma 10.001 and then um, I'll do up to 20. Okay, those are some time points and then I'm going to have 0, 0, 1, 1. Okay, so we're trying to approximate the step function and I'll change that to a black line with line width uh, 3. Okay, and this one will be a red uh, dash line with line width 2 and let's run that one more time okay so we're trying to approximate that black function now you see it doesn't do a very uh, very good job there uh, so let's add some more differential equations and this is where the scale up is going to happen uh, but uh, let's see I want to make um, what I'm going to do is when I scale up I'm also going to have a tau definition this is one thing I didn't mention. Tau is going to be equal to 10 divided by n. So as I add more differential equations, I'm just going to approximate um, this tau value. That tau value definition is going to change. So I have an input argument um, to my model. Uh, let's say I had a tau there, or I just had the n value that I want to input. I'm going to create this as a parameter that's going to be input into my model, but isn't one of my differential states or time. So I'll show you how to do that in Python as well. Uh, I have n here and then tau is going to be uh, 10 divided by n. Okay and then I also want to make this uh, turn this into a float because uh, if that is an integer I don't want to divide by an integer there. Okay um, so what I need to do down here is just say that I have some arguments um, and that's going to be n comma. I'll put feed it in as a tuple. I'll just leave this uh, second one blank uh, because this needs to be um, a, we call that a tuple or a multiple of input arguments. And so I'm going to have this uh, keyword args here. And if I have any additional arguments here, like let's say I did want to add tau as an input argument, then I would just come down here and uh, put a tau value right here. Okay, but I just only have one input. So now n equals, and then we'll just say that equals uh, 5. Okay, and then uh, what I need to do is also define uh, my dy vector. <clears throat> dy dt equals numpy. I'll just make this an empty uh, vector of dimension n. So that's where I need to store my derivative values. And then this is just going to be my very first one right here. Python starts with an index of 0. So y1 would be y0 in Python. And, uh, and then I'm going to have a 4 uh, i in range. Okay, And then I'm going to go 1 to n. And then I'm going to define the rest of my dy dt values. Okay, So now I'm going to define it with these 
these right here, all of the differential equations that I'm going to have in my system. And I'll just put an i here, and then yi, and then yi minus 1. OK, so I have uh, this defined. And now I can simulate uh, you know, a 1,000 differential equations if I'd like. Uh, so let's go ahead and try this now. Um, let's go ahead and change our, we've changed our n to equal to 5. And then let's go ahead and plot this. Okay, let's see. Something is out of bounds for axis 0 with size 1. Hmm, let's see. Range i to n. Um, so it's something, it's a problem with this one right here. Uh, let's see if we can figure that out. Um, and, oh, it's my initial condition. That's what it is. So if I have uh, y naught, that just needs to be np dot zeros uh, size n. So I was given it a different uh, state vector, so it, it had a problem with this, uh, you know, y one right there because I only had a a single y value that I was giving it. Okay, let's re run this again. Okay, so you can see those five states there. And the one that we're approximating is this one right here. Okay, so we're getting closer to this, uh, you know, this black step function. But let's go ahead and scale it up now to 100 instead. Okay, and I'm going to close this one. Okay, so it uh, you can see this uh, curve, it's getting closer. Here's our approximation right here. Let's go up to a thousand maybe. Okay, so this is going to be a thousand differential equations it's going to solve. And it'll run. And it might take just a little bit to solve and to plot. Okay, um, we're going to have, uh, okay, so once it finishes, Okay, so it's getting closer and closer. And you can see all of these individual functions, okay, that you can't really see on this plot because they're so close together. But the final one is right here, and it's really approximating this step function a lot better. Okay, so that's a, a quick tutorial on uh, solving a large number of differential equations. Let's go back to this uh, timing plot here. So um, sometimes, you know, for really large scale systems, you might be kind of worried about, um, you know, how long it's going to take to solve. And we just did a simulation there with a thousand differential equations. And, uh, but if you keep going up uh, for this system, you know, let's say you get to 2000, you can see that the ODE int function, it's going to take, you know, much longer. Um, to solve. So you kind of have that, that scale up there. Um, now just I'm going to do another video with MATLAB as well. Just show ODE15S and that one also has kind of this exponential increase although it does it kind of later. Maybe the same you could have the same amount of time with maybe 3500 equations and obviously there's going to be options in the solvers that you can use to speed them up. But in general, you're going to see this uh, kind of increase. Now, one other option, one of the packages I develop is the AP Monitor modeling language. And you can see more of a linear scale up uh, right here in solve time uh, due to the increase in number of equations. Uh, there's a little bit of overhead just with compiling the model. Uh, so it compiles it into very efficient bytecode. Um, and so this is the actual total time, but this is the uh, solve time right here, the black line. Uh, so if you're looking for something that's going to work really well for, uh, you know, large scale systems um, and up, then, uh, you know, the AP monitor modeling language could be a good option. Okay, so that concludes this uh, demonstration. It just showed how to use o the ODE int to solve a large-scale system of differential equations.